there are a couple of observations. First is the at test annotation, right? You saw this at test annotation here. This guy, it marks the method that you want tested. And uh, it, what it does is it kind of informs the JUnit engine. So when you say JUnit go, it knows what to run, right? So the, the, the important thing to remember here is you can do something like this. So you go to the pro project itself at the top of your project, right click, and then say run as JUnit test. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna find, well, in, if it works, it's going to find the the test that it needs to run. Um, you see here, it um, picked Matthew Till's test and then it tests. So what it's doing is when you run, right click here and then say run as JUnit test, it's looking at all the classes to see if there are any uh, tests marked with the at test annotation, right? It's gonna scan all of those find those and it's gonna run all of them. So unlike the main method in Java, where you run one method, here you can put the add test annotation on multiple tests and have all of them run. All of them are gonna show up in this uh, in this window over here, all right? That is what the IDE is doing here. The IDE is talking to the platform and running those tests. So we don't have those two dependencies. We wrote a test using Jupyter, gave it to the platform, and we said, hey, Eclipse, execute it. It talked to the platform directly and had it execute. So here's an interesting idea, kind of a hack. You can use JUnit as a runner. Let's say you have a code base where you have 10 methods that you need to run every time. Well, guess what? You can, one way of doing it is write a main method and then kind of have hooks to call all those methods, right? Run method A, then method B, then method C. Or guess what? You can throw JUnit in there put add test annotations on top of those methods you wanna run, and then one command, you're executing all those methods. And then you have the flexibility to say, you wanna add a new method to that list, throw in an add test annotation, right? Kind of a hack, but you can technically use JUnit as a runner just with the platform and the add test annotation. Did, should you do this? Maybe not. I've used this as a hack sometimes, but not always recommended, at least not in a real, application when you're writing hub hobby projects it's definitely something that you can think about jnet farms an excellent runner you can have it to run things but then jnet does a little bit more than that it also validates right so you notice that green bar on the left hand side right so this green bar here is something that tells you what the status of your execution is and then it kind of knows what test passed and what test failed. And we saw the green bar because JUnit says all your tests passed. How is it possible? We didn't write a test, right? We, we didn't validate anything. We wrote a test, we just printed something to the console that wasn't really validating anything. So the important concept to remember with JUnit and asserting stuff is the no news is good news uh, concept, right? JUnit, sees if some tests have failed. Is there a failing test case? If there are no failures, JNet is gonna assume that that means success. By default, the state is success. If you tell, hey, JNet, this thing failed, it's only then that that green bar turns into a red bar, right? Until that happens, no news is good news, right? No failure is equivalent to success.